New tonight here on the Night Beat, three women who are very desperate to be mothers say what their doctor did is beyond betrayal while helping them get pregnant. They and the children they raised are speaking out tonight about a local fertility doctor who allegedly used his own sperm secretly. Well, tonight they're sharing their newfound fight with our crime beat reporter Steve Jefferson. They want to stop the same betrayal from happening to other women. It's, it's devastating. It's changed my entire life. I've tried I cry every day for the past two months. To know that a doctor took advantage of that situation is, is unimaginable. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. Never. These sisters and their brother all just recently met. They discovered that, according to court records, they are just some of the secret biological children of a man their mothers turned to for help having a baby. That man is fertility doctor Donald Klein. Prosecutors say Klein is still not being truthful in a case that's turned the lives of some of his patients and their children upside down. Some days I'm not strong. <laughs> I'm not. There's days where I do. I break down. Sorry. I believed for 34 years that my dad was my father. And he still is. But um, knowing that Klein did this is it's horrible. Their story starts at birth. All of their mothers, strangers then, went to Klein and his successful fertility practice in Indianapolis. They found out 30 years later, according to court records, Klein used his own sperm to impregnate the three mothers and possibly others. I trusted him to the fullest extent and I believed in him. The stories are all heart-wrenching. Diana Kiesler is the latest Klein patient to learn about his alleged betrayal. She and her husband raised their daughter, Julie, not knowing that she's reportedly really Klein's daughter. Liz White says she trusted Klein with providing donor sperm to have her son, Matt. I had entered the office with this incredible hope and this gratefulness for a donor and, um, and betrayed is another good word. Betrayed is also how Deborah Pierce feels. Despite a wonderful life growing up, her daughter, Jacoba Ballard, knew that someone else was her father. So she added her DNA to the website 23andMe, exposing Klein's secret. The report came back, and it was 99.9%. .9%, and that's when I actually found out Dr. Klein was the father. And just like their children, the mothers have now bonded because of how they all feel. God, I, would, I felt like a virtual rape victim. Now the mothers and their children not only want Dr. Klein held accountable, but they're working to make sure no other fertility doctor can ever do the same thing. Right now, Dr. Klein is only charged with obstruction of justice. They want to change Indiana law to make it a crime for fertility doctors to use their own sperm. Jacoba leads the charge. I won't stop. I won't stop until something's done. With full support from her newfound siblings. You know, Jacoba tried to get people to listen to her for a long time about this story, and she kind of maybe just got blown off about this. Because they're like, no, this is too crazy. It is crazy. I want a law changed. I don't want this, like Jacoba said, I don't want this to happen to anybody else. Although the siblings, bound forever biologically, are looking for justice, they already have each other. I love them. From the moment I met them, like they said, an instant connection. I love them so much. And um, that's what is the good out of this horrible thing that he has done. Eyewitness News reached out to Dr. Klein's attorney. She did not comment. Jacoba Ballard has met with Indiana Senator Roderick Bray about possibly introducing legislation on this matter, something she and her siblings believe could save other families from the same heartache. Dr. Klein's case is still open with a court date set for January. I'm Steve Jefferson.